Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Sarah Stone and today I'm talking about gentle parenting with the highly spirited child. I know how difficult it can be to deal with the highly spirited child, how draining that is and how completely exhausting it can be. I want to share with you my approach on gentle parenting because it has completely transformed my relationship with my son. It's completely given me peace back in my life and I know how hard it can be. You just want to give up. I understand those feelings. So if you have a preschooler or a young child that you feel is extra sensitive or overly active or just extra difficult to deal with, then this video is going to help you. Right off the bat, biggest tip that has absolutely helped me the most, connection before correction. If my child is yelling and screaming and just off the charts, whenever I try to force it, it does not work. It just creates more friction and more struggle. However, if I use the approach of connection before correction, it works almost every time. Your child is a reflection of yourself, so they know how to trigger you better than anybody else on the planet. But when I'm in the heat of the moment, I walk away, I take a deep breath, and then I close my eyes and I start visualizing when that child was first born, when that child was in the hospital, he first opened his eyes, and when we first connected, and that try to hold on to how much love, that overwhelming feeling of love, you know what I'm talking about. And then I come back to my child who's still sitting there screaming no or whatever it is, and I take a deep breath again. I approach him and I start telling him about the first day he was born. Do you know how much I love you? Do you know that the first day you were born, that it was the best day of my life? And I give him a big hug. And usually he will just start to melt into me. Because first off, he's not expecting that. He's expecting me to come back fighting. So he's totally confused and thrown off guard. And then he just melts into the words of what I'm saying. Now, it won't always work the first time. If you have established a relationship with your child where you guys are bickering and arguing all the time and they're expecting that, it may take a while. And then once they're calm and they're in your arms and they're melting into you and you feel that love vibrating between you, then you can start telling them, this is why we need to go brush our teeth. I always tell Avery, buddy, I'm on your side. I'm taking care of you because I love you. And 99% of the time, Avery calms down, he tells me he loves me, and he comes with me willingly to go brush his teeth without fighting. If I can find a way to connect with him emotionally, then boom, he can quiet himself, he even is able to play better independently, and he actually listens. I'm not saying it's gonna be easy, but if you can refocus your thoughts, your child will start modeling that behavior and reflecting it back to you. It can be so difficult and I know this and I am not judging you because I have done the same thing. It can be so difficult to stop and listen to our children because we get so busy. We have so many things we're trying to do as a parent. But if you can stop and you can listen to them, then they will listen back. Love is the answer. Love will give you and your children peace and reconnect your whole family. And make sure that you're taking breaks and you're making time for yourself because you can't fill your children's cup with love unless you filled your own cup first. And another thing I try to do is flip my perspective because whatever you focus on, whatever characteristics you focus on in any relationship, not just with your children, that is what will grow. And so if you're constantly focusing on your child being a problem, being difficult, being too needy, then those are the elements within that child that are going to grow and surface. You have to water the flowers instead of watering the weeds. I'm Sarah Stone. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please let me know in the comments below. Please like, please subscribe, share the video. It's free, and I'll see you next week, every Friday.